What is up guys, Ultra Balls back, uh, this time with a S-Tour playoff game from round one between Empo and Tricking. Uh, so if you guys don't know how this tournament works, I guess I'll just go quickly over that. So this tournament starts with nine weeks of nine weekends of live tournaments between uh, Sun Moon OU or, or SOU and Black White OU. And then at the end of the nine weeks, whoever has the most points from doing well in the live tournaments gets uh, put into a playoff bracket. So top 16 go into the playoff bracket, and then they play best of threes uh, between the three OU metagames, and that's how they get the winner. So this is Empo and Tricking. Uh, looks like they're starting off with Sun Moon OU, which looks fun. Uh, unfortunately, Tricking brings stall, but there's a Salazzle on it, so I guess that's fun at least. <laughs> I've been thinking Salazzle could be kind of cool in OU just because like its main check is Toxapex. So if you could like to you could Toxic Toxapex, which is pretty broken. Uh, and just that alone made me kind of want to use it. And like the other thing would be like you could Toxic Heatran too. Although Heatran's not as big of a problem because if you have, you'd probably run HP ground on like Nasty Plot sets. But I think yeah, the, the cool set would be like Nasty Plot to attack and like Toxic or something or Sub Toxic. Uh, yeah, something like that. I, th I think it could be interesting, especially like I said, because Toxapex is on every single team. Um, but yeah, it looks like Empo brings, we'll go into the teams quick. Empo just brings some HO, which is what he brings most of the time, so it's not surprising. And then we have Salazzle Stall on the other side. So we lead off with the Lele on the Sableye. It's obviously going to Moonblast because the Sableye is just going to protect. Uh, oh, also, this is replay is going to go super fast uh, because Doc missed the first few turns. So. Uh, with that in mind, we're going to have to be talking hyperspeed. So yeah, he goes gear, which I agree with over Pex, because you don't know for sure if the Lele is choice locked or not. So now uh, we see Landers come out. I'm assuming because Empo figures that, yeah, this is Flash Cannon Volt, uh, Paint Split, Hard Swap. That's like what McGearner's on stall usually runs. So he probably felt like Lando was kind of safe. So you see the rocks go up. Um, yeah, was a, getting rocks up is nice for sure for Empo. And we just died HP Ice. So now we're going to go out to the Lele, click Psychic, and... Oh, uh, see now, yeah, that, yeah, so it is Specs confirmed. That did so much damage. Is Unfortunately, like, the racks don't stay for very long. <laughs> uh, I would have definitely doubled on the Sableye. I would have just gone gear. I guess he could go gear now, but he's going to get, yeah, he gets Wisp. So this helps Tricking beat this thing because he could probably just go into Pex. And now, like, he could just haze and recover and whatever if it's, like, Calm Mind. And he doesn't have to worry about, um, like, it'll get chipped down from the burn naturally. Uh, he goes hard. Lando, uh, oof, oof. That play was hot by Empo. So Tricking was obviously trying to scout for a Gigavolt Havoc there. So I, I, I wouldn't have gone into Lando, though. I would have gone into Gear, I think, is a better mid-ground play. Although it probably would have taken a shit ton from a Z-move. So that's probably why he didn't want to do it. But I still think that was like a safer play than going hard Lando. Uh, so he goes and sacks off his um, Zapdos here. But it looks as though like his McGearn is faster than this gear. So uh, he could just kill it now with a Flash Cannon. Yeah. I don't know, it was maybe some sort of like offensive trick room variant because those flash cans are doing a lot and this is obviously no special attack um, on tricking side. Uh, but yeah, this Gyarados I'm pretty sure might just win. Or, oh, it's Earth. Yeah, if it's Earthquake, I'm pretty sure it just wins. Because, uh, well, we'll see. You could like taunt the Sableye. Oh, sub. Yeah, that's equally over. Yep. Yeah, game over. Uh, this Gyarados definitely just wins because it could Dragon Dance up and it's probably Crunch uh, EQ. And Okay, ooh, we're starting already. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. We're starting already. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pause that for a second. Just we're gonna go back and just quickly talk about the end of this game before we hop into that one. So, this Gyarados is probably Crunchy Q Sub Dragon Dance, which I like that set on Mega Gear because it breaks specifically through Toxapex, which um, otherwise just hazes. Like even if you're taunt, like you just get Skull Burnt if you don't have Sub by Pex, and then like your Gyarados is useless. So this set's really cool because it beats Pex, and like you see what he had here. You could just Dragon Dance up, and even if the Pex has Haze, it doesn't matter because. Uh, EQ is going to do too much to it. If it like it goes up to or like and it's behind a sub, so you can't even do anything back to it. So yeah, this Gary easily won this game at this point. So tricking just forfeited. We're going to game two quick. I'm pretty sure that Doc has like a team preview screen here or something. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're gonna go first turn. All right, yeah, here we go. All right, so we got a nice little t team preview screen here. It looks like Doc also missed the first few turns of this game, so we're gonna keep talking fast as hell. Um, but yeah, Empo brings a more bulky offense team this time with a nice Tranfero core. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be like an AV, uh, AV, uh, what is that, Tornadus. I forgot the name because you never see that mod no more. <laughs> AV Torn, king of, king of, or SOU. We got Mega Lop, uh, nice spin, Starmie. But the problem is uh, Tricking brings webs with the Gengar, so he's probably never going to be able to get the webs off the field. Which could definitely be a problem for uh, for Empo. And yeah, Tricking just brings some webs HO. 
Uh, definitely, like, Thunder, Thunderous looks like a threat, holy shit. If it has, like, uh, Focus Blast for Pharaoh or something like that, if it's, like, Nasty Plot, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, so we hop in, we saw, I think we already, you guys already saw the first couple turns when I, when this game came on, but yeah, we get Rocks up and Webs. I think Lander's you turned out here, so I'm assuming he's just, like, Helmet Lando. He goes into Tornadus, is, uh, yeah, Rocks go out for tricking, and he's probably going to, like, Encore him or Toxic him or something here. As you see, Hurricane does hit. Uh, that did absolutely zero. Holy shit. Shuckle's so fat. We're going to star you, star me here, but now Tricking is either going Thunderous or Bisharp, so I don't know why he did that. Yeah. I didn't get that play by Empo. Because uh, now, I would just SD if I was Tricking, to be honest. Because if you SD... No, okay, yeah. So he just... Um, that did nothing either. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, he wasn't boosted, but still, it was a crit. It did 47. Uh, see, so now he gets paired, but okay, he is lumped. So I don't get, yeah, I think Tricking could have honestly uh, Swords danced up with the Bisharp. I don't think, he, he should have SD'd on the Switch, because then he could have SD'd again on the T-Wave, and then uh, one-shot the Pharaoh. But now he's going Lop, so he probably could have revenge killed this anyway, but like if you're a plus four sucker does so much to this thing anyway, it would pretty much killed it. Um, so yeah, we see a power up punch here. Kill the Bisharp, but Bisharp was able to get rid of the Pharaoh, which, yeah, means, like, Thunderous is even a bigger threat at this point. So I don't know how he beats this. I think Thunderbolt is free here because you kill the Lando with HP Ice after anyway. So we'll probably see HP Ice come out here from the Thunderous, uh, and we'll see... Okay, yeah, he... Go okay, so Empo does go into Heat Transfer on the HP Ice, but we see Substitute, and that's a huge problem because now he gets a free, I'm assuming, Nasty Plot. Yeah, free Nasty Plot, and I don't know. I feel like T plus two T-Bolt is maybe a roll to kill this. It's going to do a bunch. A, oh, it lived. I'm surprised that that thing actually lived. But uh, like I said, it's probably some sort of roll. And that was actually crucial because if that killed, it literally, that won the game right there if uh, Heatran didn't eat. So that roll, um, kind of bad for tricking if it was a roll. See bullet punch on what is it? Helmet Lando. And now tricking could probably go Gengar because like, yeah, because Gengar and Oras walls Lando or defensive Lando. Nice uh, shout outs to the Levitate. We'll probably just see a Shadow Ball come out here. I don't know if this would be some sort of like specs, maybe. Yeah, that does nothing though to Assault Vest Torn, the King. We'll probably see U Turn come out, knock off. Um, and this is offensive. It Okay, it didn't kill. I thought that was probably another maybe roll. I thought there was a chance if it's offensive, Scizor could kill. So I don't really agree with going hard into Scizor. I feel like. I, know, I feel like Scizor could have won if it ever got an SD up because the. Um, the Heatran was so low, and I'm assuming that it was like faster than Starmie after the after webs, because it was probably just offensive Mega Scizor, and he probably could have just killed it. Uh, Outrage did z absolute zero to this mon. Holy shit. Um, yeah, Lando's so fat. Outrage did 40. Uh, nice kill that thing with Sludge Wave, and now he goes Gengar. Um, if it's not choice, I don't get why he didn't... Oh, he didn't want to let the, the low bunny in, so I understand. But like now he has to go for crit, I think, on the, on the Starmie. Because if this is Specs, which is what I'm assuming it is, he he still can't win. Like, he can't win. The Heatran's dead to rocks, so I think he just has to crit star me with Sludge Wave. Uh, if he doesn't, I think it's game over. I don't think that crit, or I don't think that Specs Sludge Wave will kill bulky star me from full. Uh, well, it's not full, but it's relatively full. Yeah, see, that didn't do that much. And now he just, Scald doesn't kill. Oh, I think, wait. So does Tricking still win this game? No, he's got Fake Out on Lop, of course. So it doesn't matter. He sacks this, goes into Lop, clicks Fake Out. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking, because like in, in, or, or in Sun Moon, a lot of low bunnies won't run Fake Out. They'll run like the Power Up Punch, like Encore shit. But uh, in ORS, they obviously all have it, especially because it helps get the Mega off. And it's just good in general. I still like Fake Out on Lopunny even now, though. It's a, yeah. Now you just Fake this thing out. Uh, it, you can't really... So... He, yeah, he can't do anything. He has to, like, he can't set Gengar, because, like, how is Shuckle going to beat these two Mons? So, he has to go Shuckle here, but I'm pretty sure that he still loses to Lopunny, because he goes Shuckle on the Fake Out, and then he kills the Shuckle, and then he could sack the star the Starmie, come back in with the uh, Lopunny and click Fake Out again, so this should be game over. Yeah, so now, he has to hit a high jump kick, though, I think. I don't, okay, I don't get this play. What was this play? Yeah, I don't get that. I guess he was going off choke, but yeah. Because uh, if, if he sacked Shuckle, if, yeah, if he sacked Shuckle there, then like I said, all he does is switch out to Starmie and then come back in and fake out and win. So he had to go off some sort of choke. But yeah, Empo played that well. I'm actually surprised. Like, I don't think tricking... I think he had the tools to win this game. Uh, the roll on the Heatran not killing, obviously that sucked because I think Thunderous just won at that moment. Um, 
because the, but like the Pharaoh was already super weakened. Also, if if Bisharp SD'd on the switch, like I was saying uh, earlier, and it was at plus three or plus four, it would have done way more to this low bunny, and it might have put it in range of like another rock switch. Like it might not have been. It would have been at. So right now it's at twenty seven percent. Even if it was at like I. What if it was at like six five six percent right now? Then it wouldn't have been able to come back in um, on the Gengar. So then Gengar would have won. Uh, the game in the end so yeah i don't know i feel like tricking could have maybe played it slightly differently but congrats to empo taking the 2-0 winning the oras and sun moon ou games my voice is tired because that was <laughs> that was really fast <laughs> i hope i didn't mess up too bad hopefully you guys enjoyed but that was pretty difficult for me so uh yeah if you guys did like the video leave my man doc some likes comments and subscribe and until next time ultra balls out peace